I've been uh, photographing in New York City for over a decade, um, and uh, and I love it. it. It started with New York. It's still New York. Uh, it, it's the one and only subject matter for me. Something about older buildings that have the quality of having been here, they are part of the landscape. To me, they, they seem like uh, as much a part of New York as the rocks and the trees. So you went out and you tried to take the exact same photo right in the location. Exactly. I think that's that's what we bring to this new edition is that there is a, a real obsession on my part with trying to find exactly where that old photo was shot from, to be in that exact position, to find not only just the same position but the same time of day so that I get the same kind of light. And, uh, and I would do whatever is necessary to get wherever I had to be. The terrorist attack on the World Trade Center in 2001 dramatically changed the city's skyline. Has it been interesting for you to document the changing skyline in Lower Manhattan over the last 11 plus years? It's been fascinating. Um, I had a technology company at the time and um, that, that actually led me into photography. And our office building was destroyed in that attack. So we were very close to that event. Um, having done so many flights over that area to do photography for other buildings and for photography for my earlier book, um, it's just ugly. Um, it's just a big, ugly scar, and it's such a painful reminder of what happened. So to see the new World Trade Center rising suddenly, uh, finally, after, after all this time, and it's really is a real relief. Um, although I, I have to tell you that the fact that it's almost there and yet incomplete is a real problem for my photography. So, so many of my clients who need photos of the downtown area have recently been saying, it's so close, Evan, can you just find a rendering of the top of the building and mm. just finish it off for us? Because it just looks not done yet. And so I've been doing a lot of, a lot of Photoshop work to try to finish off that building for the skyline. And I, it's gonna look amazing. So I'm looking forward to when that, when that, uh, when I no longer have to add the, the crown of the building in post. I think one of my favorite photos in the book that features the elevated subway track is the one that also features the Bowery Savings Bank mm. because that not only has the elevated subway, it also shows all of these horse-drawn carriages on the street. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Um, the Bowery Savings Bank, it's, um, it's a magnificent piece of architecture and it is absolutely dwarfed by whatever's going on in the Bowery now. It's not necessarily dwarfed by the size of the architecture around it. It's just that that particular part of the city at the moment is just not fancy. Um, in fact, it's the opposite of fancy. It's really kind of a, well, it's the Bowery. Um, and it's the part of the Bowery that's still the Bowery. Um, it's, um, it's full of uh, street vendors and uh, traffic, and it's just not very pretty. So it's the kind of place that no one would pay any attention to architecturally. Although at one time, clearly it was uh, it was a major uh, it was a major area full of uh, full of, of money and and people who um, who were building beautiful buildings. Um, the inside of the Bowery Savings Bank now it still says Bowery Savings Bank on the outside, but it's some kind of banquet hall. And uh, they were preparing for a banquet when I was there taking the outside shot. And I thought, well, with all these people coming and going, there's a chance that I could slip in. Uh, so I set the camera. I knew I couldn't come in with my heavy equipment so I just quickly set my camera to a the highest light sensitivity and uh, and figured all right I'll try to be real sneaky so I snuck in and it's a, interesting because it's so different now because it's a banquet hall it has lots of of lighting structures and all and there are people walking around setting up tables but a lot of the architecture was, was obvious so I was able to, to do that and uh, just as I got exactly the shot I needed, the security guards came running out from no, the side. No. Hey, buddy, you can't be in. What are you doing in here? Who are you with? Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm, uh, you know, just wandering. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way out. Yeah, I'm on my way out. So but you got your shot. I got my shot. It's in the book, and uh, I'm sure the security guards would be happy to see it if I brought it by. <laughs>